So we're going to try and scan this uh, portable heater because I want to be able to capture the textures and all that. We're going to choose rapid scan. Here we go. Get there. Let's go ahead and generate point clouds. Um, to get some of the missing stuff, mm -hmm. let me go ahead and just turn this on its side and see if I'm able to capture that area that we missed before. Preview and start. Okay, that's good because all we wanted was that back part there. So create my cutting plane. All right, cool. We're good. Here's our objects. That is good. Let's go ahead and mesh the model. Um, Let's see what happens if we create a watertight model. Now that I sat down, it's perfect and finished. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what it looks like. You know what? It actually looks really, really good. Even though like maybe you don't have the geometry, it did pick up the texture of the grill. You can see the vent work. Let's go ahead and zoom in. You can actually read what's written here. So not only can you read the label, but you can also see the buttons up at the top. You can see them clearly. You can make out all of the textures, little details, dust, scratches. It did a really good job capturing the details from this portable heater. For our final scan today with the Einscan HX, we're going to uh, scan this printed circuit board. So once we click on new project, come over here, we'll click on texture scan. For mode of alignment, this time we're going to click on texture. And this PCB has a lot of minute detail. So I'm going to go ahead and set the resolution to high. I'll just use their default of 0.7, hit apply, and we should be good to go. Single tap for preview. Take a look at what we did here. So not bad. You can see I'm missing the areas where the scanner angle didn't quite capture any data. So what I could do is turn this upside down, generate point clouds. Might take a little while because we chose high resolution. We'll just create another project group and now we'll get the stuff that we missed. The scanning itself was super quick, right? Like it was basically just <laughs> And then that was it. So this time I'll just come in here and I'll uh, create a cutting plane. And then I'll use my lasso to come in here and delete the, uh, the leg from the tripod. Okay, and now we're going to generate point clouds. Let's come over here to align. Let's go ahead and hit apply. We'll mesh the model. Here's what it looks like. There are some holes. There are some areas where I could have spent more time scanning. Um, but you saw how quickly I brushed over that and you can see that it does a faithful job of representing a real life object in 3D space. So thanks for watching. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to us at info at umax.com. You can also leave your comments in the comment section below. If this video was helpful, please hit like, please subscribe. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.